All right, guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, Walmart uh, tactical bags that you can find over in their sporting goods section. A couple different uh, variations here. Um, last year they um, had um, some in the sporting goods section that uh, hunting section um, that was made. I'll show you here by this one here. This one is Field Line Tactical. Um, they were, I think, twenty-seven dollars, twenty-six dollars, something like that. Um, but they had these on closeout later, you know, a month after Christmas or whatever, a couple weeks after Christmas. And I was able to pick this one. I bought two of these, just like this. Um, I bought uh, these for like twelve dollars a piece. Um, this year, I noticed that they had basically the same bag as far as the design, but it was this one, and it's by SOG, which everybody uh, has seen their products. They're uh, mostly known for a knife company, but uh, they make other products, and this is the new um, brand they're carrying. I think they had a few field lines left, but I think they're possibly left over from last year. I don't think they're going to continue to carry them. I think Sog's going to be their new line that they carry. Um, but um, I got this one this year for my birthday. And I'll kind of tell you the differences between the two and kind of the history a little bit behind the bags themselves. Uh, these are China-made bags. I'm pretty sure that um, both these bags, because they're basically the same design exact, um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, from my understanding, that this original design possibly is a 511 uh, bag that these guys have uh, essentially just copied. Um, but the quality of this one, even though it was similar in price, um, once I looked it up, I think it was again 28 bucks, 20, it's around the same price as the field line last year. But this one does seem just to be a little better quality. Um, there's other reviewers on YouTube that have um, have reviewed these bags, so I'll kind of keep that part a little bit brief. Um, it's got uh, Molly on the front. It's got uh, Velcro right here that's uh, integrated in with the Molly, so you can put your um, patches on it like I did here on this one. And uh, you can do that. You open the pocket, and you have quite a few um, divider pockets here. The... Um, Section here, 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 uh, a couple little where you put ink pens, pocket knives, or whatever, and um, then some dividers up here. There's some kind of liner, plastic liner. Um, I don't know if it's throughout the entire bag, but at least on the front here, in certain sections, I see that it is does have this uh, plastic um, style liner. When you go into the next compartment, oh, well, not compartment, just a little zipper pouch at the top. Going to the next compartment, which is the biggest uh, section in here, you've got a couple mesh pouches. Um, it's easy visibility to see what's in it. Then you have a, um, this is designed for a water bladder if you want to put that in. Um, it's got uh, up here, I don't guys, I have to work with this camera here. It's got a section to bring your hose out. Molly along the sides. Over here, um, you've got a pouch for a water bottle, and um, then on the back, nice padded straps, and um, it's got uh, padded backrest um, down at the bottom, up at your shoulders here. Uh, this mesh here for ventilation. It's got this channel here for ventilation. I actually wore this bag on vacation. Uh, we went to uh, a large theme park. And I carried this bag in particular last year, and my wife carried it some. It was very comfortable. Um, it held up well. It held up fine. Um, it uh, it did really well. It's got uh, show you this where you, I like this where you can strap it and, and kind of pull it all together. And it's got adjustable straps so you can get it you know kind of fit you. But I wore it. My wife wore it. It's pretty simple, um, and it was comfortable for all day wear. And we kept quite a bit in it. I kept a first aid kit, um, some power bars some water, that sort of thing, just some general essentials that you would need at a theme park all day. So um, it uh, it worked really well. This is uh, the SOG version, and this is uh, kind of my EDC or everyday carry bag that I kind of keep with me. 
at all times and uh, just to kind of go over some of the things that you're capable of putting in it uh, and this is this is full uh, currently kind of some things I'm running um, now I've added this this didn't come with it I just added this come off I don't know it came off one of my belts or something I ordered and it came with it free um, but like in the front here I'll give you an example um, I've got a set of binos a little small set of binos some 550 cord um, a shimog shimag tomato tomato you know you get the idea um, some granola bar type stuff some fire starter um, um, folding knife some chem sticks and that's all in this front pouch here uh, let's see and there's another pouch back here oh yeah I've got never leave home without it the US Constitution um, I've got just a little cheap rain poncho parka and let's see what else right in the rain Let's see. All right, that was section one. Also, I've got a, uh, it's got these little keeper things here, like if you want to hang your keys or something. I've got a name tag and some uh, some more uh, ear protection, some foam ear plugs. This one has a little better zipper pulls. Um, some people thought they were, I saw some reviewers talking about, they thought they were tacky. Uh, you know, I don't really care tacky or not. Are they functional is what I care about. But, uh, you know, they're, they're a little better than these. Uh, these on this other bag here, uh, I've been pulling it one day and they'll come loose in here. You can take it apart and fix that once it comes loose. But, uh, these, I don't think will come apart like that. Um, in this top pouch I have, let's see what I do have pepper spray, a little boo-boo kit, um, it's got your basic, uh, and I got this, believe it or not guys, you can pick up little small cases like this, I'm um, pretty sure I picked this up at the dollar store uh, for a buck, it's designed for, um, you know, maybe keeping a camera or something in, they were like a dollar in a little bin, and uh, it fits a little boo-boo kit just well, it's got some band-aids, some q-tips, uh, neosporin, ibuprofen, good little boo-boo kit, um, just keep an eye out for little things like that that you can utilize. Matter of fact, I need to buy another one of those now that I think about it and turn it into a sewing kit. And I try buying them certain colors if they're available. Like red, I'll buy. It will be only first aid stuff. If you know, like all my sewing kits will be green or whatever the case may be that I can do. And uh, but I need to buy one of those to put together a sewing kit. Um, onto the side here. Uh, I've got a water bottle. I actually picked this up. I think uh, it's an NRA. It's kind of a weird camouflage thing going on. Um, this came, I'm pretty sure, from Goodwill Salvation Army. I paid like a buck for it, but uh, I've got some flex cuffs. I keep everything kind of tethered or dummy corded kind of thing, so my flex cuffs are stuck on a little carabiner. And then, like when I stick my water in here, I've got this 550 cord, and then I will actually take in the uh, oh, hope this is getting in camera there and I'll, I'll i'll hook that um you never know if you get in a hurry start running dragging stuff around you want to be able to make sure you're not losing things um i got hanging here just a set of uh, uh these are actually sonic defender surefire uh ear pro um good good earplugs if you uh guys are wanting something that's a little more low profile than a standard uh, muff or electronic muff which I prefer electronic muff when I'm on the range so I can you know hear any commands or anything like that but these right here work really well uh, especially when you're shooting precision rifle uh, you need to get really you know, good cheek weld down on your rifle so uh, something like that but anyway let's just hang there on this side I've got this little thing tethered here it's got a little uh, LED um, flashlight uh, my uh, um, somebody's assaulting me whistle <laughs> with a compass on it and uh it's got a temperature reader on the back and um i got a um fixed blade knife i have a uh, radio here this is the Baofeng. i think it's a triple eight s is what this model number is for that one and i've got it attached by molly in the um uh, into a condor i'm pretty sure that's a condor radio pouch I'm pretty fond of Condor as far as their 
price comparison and a lot of this stuff with condo or whatever i'll make minor changes to make it a little better like i'm pretty sure this had if i remember a little cheaper type cord and i actually used real good quality 550 cord um with a little keeper here i've got uh, a lapel mic that comes around here that's attached to this that obviously can be removed i've got my water bladder system in this now let's see what's uh Oh yeah, up here at the top, um, I've got a pair of gloves, and this is actually lined with like a soft liner, so if you want to put sunglasses or um, you know, your phone or something in there so it doesn't get scratched. In the main compartment, this thing holds quite a bit if you know kind of how to pack it. Um, I've got a single point sling, eye protection, and I'm going to do a, a video on some of this stuff separate, but... Uh, just to show you what all would fit in this bag. Um, this is a kel Sub-2000. Uh, it's got a few things attached to it. I've got uh, a headlamp. Um, this is a water straw. I keep everything bagged so you can kind of keep it separate. Um, and then this is um, like a wool beanie. Keep your head warm. Then I've got also down in here a uh, boonie hat. And then that's, I actually stuck that in my water bladder section just to kind of compartmentalize everything so it's kind of separate and I know where things are at, easy to, easier to get to. Stuff all that back in there. You have to, forgive me guys, I got a little bit of a cold today, so uh, that's kind of, since I sound a little funny, I'm doing a little sniffing, I apologize. In the mesh pockets up here, I've got extra batteries for my lights. Um, hand sanitizer, um, little cheap camo band, uh, bandana, um, lip balm is obviously multiple use. You can use it for your lips, you can use it for fire starter, you can um, use it to grease a gun if you needed to in a hurry and didn't have anything. Um, and hand sanitizer. One thing that a lot of people I see in these little EDC bags and stuff that I don't see in a lot of them for some reason, and I don't understand why, is toilet paper. To me, this could be more valuable than bullets one day in certain situations. So I just take a, a full roll and uh, push it down, collapse it, and stick it in uh, a bag. But uh, don't leave home without it, guys. I'm telling you. It's, uh, I've done a lot of hunting and stuff in my time, and it's uh, nothing more miserable than... Uh, Needing toilet paper, not having it. So I always keep a roll uh, about everywhere I go, hunting, fishing, camping, uh, EDC bags. Let's see what else I have in here. Two 33 round magazines, four 33 round magazines, and then in the bottom I have a basic uh, tarp. I've got orange. Uh, this was actually in my car at one time in my wife's car. Um, I need to get something probably a little more stealthy than that, but it depends on the situation. Sometimes you want to be stealthy, sometimes you need to be seen. Um, you need people to find you possibly if you're uh, lost or stranded somewhere. So sometimes having bright colors is not always terrible. I wish that uh, tarp, and I'm not, I don't think it is, but I wished it was um, two-sided. Um, two you know, one side maybe a brown and the other side orange, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, both orange, I think. But, um, you know, like I said, all this uh, fits right in here. Uh, keep, always keep a sling with you if you're going to carry a long arm, long gun of some sort. Uh, you don't want to you be able to have a way to secure that to yourself and use it. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, kind of the EDC bag. I wanted to give you a little bit, of, uh, a little bit about the bags and a little bit about the EDC when I'm carrying and uh you know potentially i uh used to carry pretty much a pistol with me everywhere i go concealed carry holder and uh the worst uh, things have gotten uh you never know um a lot of things going on in the world today that uh, you might want something a little more than a pistol to help you get out of a bad situation uh hopefully we never come to anything like that but uh it's kind of like wearing a seat belt i would rather not need it and uh, you know, be using it 
to need it one day and not have it on. So I, uh, you know, I started changing things around and uh, that sort of thing, and uh, what I carry and my thoughts of what I shouldn't carry. Uh, you know, some people say, "Well, you got enough ammo," and some people go, I think, a little overboard. But hey, I don't. Uh, what people feel comfortable with, I don't, uh, I'm not the type, I'll, I'll offer advice if somebody asks, but I usually don't try belittling somebody because they don't do exactly like I do, uh, or my thoughts of what you, somebody should do, uh, that's something they'll have to live with, uh, one way or another, good, bad, or ugly, um, with the end result, but, uh, you know, I try encouraging people to be prepared one way or another, uh, in their daily lives, I don't care if that's something as simple as carrying, um, jumper cables in your car, um, you know, it's a uh, matter of fact, a lot of times my my family, um, some of the members of my family are not what I consider prepared for even roadside emergencies. So a lot of times at Christmas, I'll sneak in a gift like a pair of jumper cables or, you know, something like that. But uh, anyway, guys, please uh, uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, this is our new um, channel we've started, Guns Gear uh, Network. Um, we were just getting started, so we're trying to learn how to do the productions of the videos and that sort of thing. So please work with us, and you know if you have any helpful hints or shoot me a uh, private message or an email saying, hey, if you tried this or whatever. And I think somebody asked me what camera this was. It is a Kodak, but it's a Kodak Play something or another. Um, but it's waterproof, which is kind of neat. I got this for a Christmas gift back some time ago. Um, but it's a pretty good little camera, but, uh, probably not the best for doing anything halfway professional for the YouTube communities. But, uh, I think you'll get the idea and we'll hopefully upgrade as, uh, time and money allow. We'll upgrade a few things, the cameras and our, the way we do our little setup here and all that. But I just want to give some basic tabletop reviews and, um, get, uh, people interested in, uh, prepare, you know, preparation and, um, the uh, anybody that's looking to get into guns and gear, my you know most of my uh, network is going to be about uh, especially beginners, people learning or wanting to learn um, about getting into um, outdoors and shooting and uh, preparation and all that. This is a uh, you know channel that's going to be for them, and there'll be some people that'll probably get some things out of it that's been around the block with. Uh, you know, preparedness and guns and gear. You might pick up a few things, but uh, again, it's a uh, way to share our knowledge and help each other out. Again, guys, I appreciate your time. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you soon with the next video. Have a good day.